On the business side, the conversation got strategic in how is AI different than other technology ways. The speakers drew parallel between past technology revolutions and today's AI awakening, emphasizing shifts towards outcome-based business models. Matt Garman's deep dive on the future of white-collar jobs provided fascinating insights in how AI is not just automating tasks, but reshaping coding practices and infrastructure from silicon innovations to agent-based workflows. And then there's Skywork, an all-in-one productivity agent that promises to consolidate tools like ChatGPT, Notion Madness, and making everyday work more efficient. Every day there's a new AI release, there's a new platform that's meant to bring everything together and do it. Again, these are all generalized systems. Your mileage may vary on what you're doing and what you're testing with. Some things may work, some things may not. Some of your pilots may fail. But AI is similar to this boom. I think there was a Sam Altman even said there's an AI bubble right now. And then their CFO rolled out and said, no, 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 that's not what he meant. And they had to backtrack on that a bit. There is a lot of investment going on in AI. From what I saw last week or the week before, like in the American economy, they would be in a recession if it wasn't for the amount of money being put into AI investment. That's what's lifted the GDP and kept them out of recession. And that's probably true because of so much money that's being thrown into it. But I would sort of beg to differ on the point that dot-com boom, you had like, what was pets.com is the famous $100 million for a pet ordering website when there wasn't even that many people online. There was no value generated from that business except for the people that owned it. This is actually generating bit value in businesses every day and making things more efficient. And no one is really using it properly. Like everyone's trying to figure out how to use this stuff still. It's only been two years since ChatGPT launched. Like it is a bubble, it is a wave, but it's different, I believe, because of the value and how it affects everything.